performing and cooperating, making and owning their own media. And it's you. It's our third summer. Members name their own bands and write and play their songs together. So bands can look however they want to look, sound however they want to sound. They also get a professional band photo. Some of them look like close encounters. Some bands have a real knack for creating their own look and vision with our camp photographer. And they incorporate their own choreography into the end of camp showcase, like Royale from last year. And some are bands like The Consonants, who gave us these expressions all week before turning it out. The point is, it's their call, and we respect and support their decisions, unless they include cursing or any sort of negativity towards themselves or others. Camp is all female. Our instrument lessons, workshops, and band practice, everything is run by women. All backgrounds, we volunteer their time every year. We're hosted by Gerard College and provide as much financial assistance Girls Rock Philly offers guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, vocals, and DJing. We have all levels of instruction, and we provide donated or lent equipment for campers who don't have their own. And Counselor Dana is our DJ instructor. Campers take 10 hour long workshops, introducing them to different aspects of music making and the industry. We get volunteer guests to help out with these. The first day, we hold a songwriting workshop, shown here. The skills help out in band practice. We put the bands together on the first day, and they start writing and playing together with the help of a band coach who can get them started, diffuse any tension, and help them focus their thinking, whatever needs to happen that particular hour. We also hold technology workshops like effects and pedals, so campers can try out all kinds of new sounds and use them in their band. We hold a sound and recording workshop too, and make sure every band gets a real sound check before their showcase so they know what's going to happen on stage. We also bring in non-traditional rock instruments like the melodica to show the campers and let them play around some more. The difference is to take that first step, trying something and deciding for yourself if you like it. One of our bands is all about the dollars and so it's a melodica now. We also hold self-defense workshops to learn about boundaries and safety, but also to learn our strengths. It's also summer and sometimes you need to run around. We also hear from lots of campers that this is one of their favorites. The most popular non-music workshop is band art. Once campers name their bands, they head to the art room to make their own merch. That includes buttons, posters, and the t-shirts, and we talk about their band's brand and design. And a lot of campers wear their shirts right away or at the end of the showcase. They also let us sell their merch at our end of the week showcase to raise the funds for next year to keep on going. A good shirt goes a long way with your band, since everyone wears them all year. We also encourage them to wear them around town, so you ask them about their band. Some bands stick around after camp, like Oak Oak OK, and play shows all over town, including right here. We support that by keeping a year-round practice space, with all of our instruments there for bands or individual campers to use for free and volunteers. But the real deal is a showcase on Saturday, after the campers meet, they play their songs for 500 people at Gerard College. Whatever problems a band has on Wednesday or Thursday, we pull together. We make sure they know how to plug in their own gear and have lots of women tech and sound ladies to show they can learn all these things themselves. You need to communicate with a band sound person because no one knows your band better than you. In the last 10 years, girls rock camps have grown from one in Portland to 25 in the U.S. And 40 to Canada International Camps. The sweep is eight. One is metal. Well, they get tons of media attention, including the documentary, which came out in 2008, on DVD. These camps make up the Girls Rock Camp Alliance. We put out this book of story, tips, and how to articles. All the proceeds go towards the GRCA, which holds conferences for us to meet, share info, and make ourselves more awesome every year. GRP in 2009 is August 3rd through the 8th. This year we're recording a compilation album of camper bands as well as a DVD. We're also holding a Ladies Rock Camper Women in the Fall. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at girlsrockphilly.org. Thank you, Eleanor! Woo!